On their death-defying spin, the girls' heads barely miss the ice. Women are pulled apart like fresh bread. It all adds up to split-second artistry. At the Civic Center, but not here. Of an athlete, the precision of a juggler, and the nerve of a test pilot. And the boredom of an accordionist. Today's great hmm? skating carnivals ha. are as sophisticated as bop, as spectacular as the boudoir boogie. And as dull as a beige room. This is like watching paint dry. Oh, it's easy when you sit down. Oh. <laughs> Girls. See if you can spot the men in this chorus line. <laughs> Look, she's got a sheep's butt. Suddenly, mitosis takes place. The DNA strand separates in a dazzling display of color. Hi, prophase. Hi, anaphase. I'm putting a stop to this. Of style in skating, of form as well as acrobatic. Mm. Too bad it isn't the age of talent. <laughs> wow, really swinging, man. Hey, she's got a saggy diaper that leaks. <laughs> if you were the kind of person who enjoyed this? The syncopated rhythm of the dance is not working tonight. Style. On skates, the practiced precision of the pony chorus brings new excitement on steel. Yeah, taste my steel. Yeah. All the color and pageantry of a stage review is missing. Been brought from behind the footlights into the spotlights of the modern skating carnival. The only consolation is that they're all dead now. Choose for men and women from every walk of life who come together uh, each year for the fun of building a newer and more dazzling oh, spectacle. Oh, right, that's As the flashing blades whirl to a dizzy climax, the skaters bring to an end no ordinary circus, but truly a circus on ice. By Federico Fellini. We say goodbye to the vibrating circus train. <laughs> Ah. I know this. Da 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 Oh, that's a new L.A. club. Oh. Monster Go? Oh, I thought this was going to be Monster Go Home. Oh. You know what, guys? I have a feeling this is going to be a tough one. Oh, no, it might not be too bad. No, I think Joel's right. This one has Stink Burger written all over yeah. us. <sighs> now, come on. You can't tell just from the credits. Mm -mm. No, no. It's a feeling I have. My gut instincts tell me this is going to hurt real bad. Joel, it's not healthy to have such a negative attitude right out of the gate. It's just common sense, Crow. There's a feeling of incompetence already in the air here. Yeah, we might as well face up to it. Well, I refuse to give in so soon. I'm going to riff away like it's nobody's business. I, I can't think of anything now, but... <laughs> well... The other th... The other th... Jeff Smith, the frugal screenwriter. Now don't write in, for heaven's sake. Hey, didn't Sheldon Seymour write The Other Side of Midnight? Uh, hey, what a coincidence. There are two guys named Bill Rabane. <laughs> you know, because you see with the... And the, the guys there... This is gonna suck. What you're about to see may not even be possible within the narrow limits of human understanding. So let's forget it right now. A space capsule is rocketed into water on the schedule. Its mission, to observe new objects circling the Earth. Satellites, which no nation had launched. As the capsule reached its orbit, communications with it suddenly went silent. Several days passed. A search team headed by Colonel Steve Connors Hi, began Steve. an intensive search of the entire area. This is Connors. Go ahead, Control 2. Go ahead, Pump 3. Pump is weak. Pumping in flight exit 3. Coming in. Over. Um, I'll need extra jack sauce and some ketchup. Over and out. 
in a wooded area not far from the Space Agency Astrophysical Laboratories in Chicago, observers reported that a strange object had fallen to Earth. A Coke bottle. Okay, now you see that thing? You push it down all the way to the floor there. This is Connors. Commence patrol two. Nag, nag, nag. Hey, good luck, and we'll be back to pick you up later. Was it the space capsule? You have five seconds to answer. Ding, 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 ah. I'm sorry, the answer was no. Traffic is heavy on the outbound 94. You might want to take an alternate route. How does it look, Jim? This is so cool. Take the kazoo out of your mouth. Goodbye, Steve. I like it. It's nicely shot, this film, at such a pretty time of the year, huh? Huh. Well, I guess this means the helicopter's landing. Yep. Ah! Here it goes. Landing. I don't know what to say, Steve. I didn't know you felt this way. Oh. They're talking to Charlie Brown's mom. He chunks, Steve. Connors calling Patrol 2. Connors calling Patrol 2. He's not home right now. Can I take a message? Jim, do you read me? Come in, Patrol 2. Wayne, pick up. I know you're there. Sounded like he was in trouble. No, do. We better take him off. Uh, take a left by that bush. So the government drives stock Chevys? I think it's a Biscay. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is when NASA was just a car and a helicopter, right? Mm. Storefront in a strip mall. Yeah, in a vacant lot. Okay, now cut that out! Without question, this was the capsule that had put Douglas into orbit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Question: Douglas was gone without a trace. Douglas was pear-shaped, very short, and stood the whole way. <laughs> well, Ray, look, it's filled with Schlitz cans. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, thank goodness Les Paul is backing them up on guitar. Oh, Earl, it's not your break yet. The helicopter pilot who had discovered the capsule was dead. Horribly mangled in a way no one had ever seen oh, before. Oh, quit playing with his face, Aaron. Meanwhile, in a soap opera not hey. far away. What do you want? Oh, Laura, how are you? How's Jimmy? Oh, he's fine. I just sent him over to Mrs. Williams. Hi, hi. Air kiss. Had some coffee? No, no thanks. Carl? Yes, please. Make it good this time. Huh. He usually keeps a bunch of M&Ms in that bowl. Mm. Oh, feel free to stink the house up. Jeez. Well, here's the witch's brew. I mean coffee. Coffee? Minds like these were made for taster's choice. It's about Frank, isn't it? <laughs> Ruth, the capsule came back. This coffee's warmer than Frank is. What about Frank? I don't know. He had all the emergency equipment he needed, but... He was just stupid. Oh. Now what is it all about? The Healthy. shot was a success. The capsule did come back. But Frank didn't. Just that we don't know whether the radiation repellent worked or not. Oh, I know I shouldn't feel this way. It's his life, but... Well, ever since Harry died, Frank's been like a father to Jimmy. Harry, wait, wait, oh, slow down. Try to even think about it right now. What am I going to tell Jimmy? Who's Jimmy? Would you like me to spend the night? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I've got to get back to the lab room. I don't want to spend any more time on this than I already There's have. Anything I can do. Thank you, Carl. Of course, we'll be cutting off the pension, you understand. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dr. Carl. Hi, Space Cadet. Frank's Jimmy, dead. I thought you were over at Mrs. Williams. I had to get some more rocket parts. Poor kid. When's Uncle Frank coming home? He'll have to oh, make honey. do with Uncle Bob and Uncle Jim and Uncle Phil and Uncle Roy and Uncle Tim. 
Burned on re-entry, huh? Take me fishing. Well, some trips are longer than we expected. Make other plans, Jimmy. What's wrong with Mommy? The mommy's not feeling very well. But suppose you go upstairs and when we're all through, we'll have a nice big ice cream soda, huh? Yeah, that solves everything. Hey, Timmy, my dad's dead again. Can I come over for dinner? No, I can't take any more. Oh, look, let's not make a bigger deal out of this than it really is. <laughs> ah! Whew. What's that? Face like spinach dip? Horribly mangled? Okay. No dental records? Mm, too bad. All right, now. I'll be right over. Well, looks like he died in a state of sin. Oh, Logan, Sorry. It's okay. located the camp. Two words, right. closed casket. I'll let you know as soon as I find out. Wait, Carl, I, I want to go mm. with you. Honey, he'll call if there is any news. <laughs> No, I want to be with you. Um, Daddy, he could be sad. Hua, hua. Um, Daddy, he, he. Hua, hua. Um, Daddy, he, he. Hua, hua. Um, Daddy, he, he. Hua, hua. Um. Hi! Hi. Daddy, he, he. Yes. I don't get you. Oh. Are you mad? No. No. Good. Because I want to like you, but I just don't understand where you're coming from. Sure. Uh, uh what's not to get though, Gypsy? I just am. I hang out. Oh, oh, I know. It's just that. Well, you know, I don't really get you. Yeah, okay. Uh, maybe I can help. <clears throat> uh, to start with, uh, I'm a robot. I use cyber-based bubble memory. Is that what's confusing you? N no. Uh, is it that I work off Unix and can use a variety of operating systems? Well, I guess that's a start. Well, I've undergone a complex personal evolution wherein painful confusion has given way to what I like to think of as some degree of wisdom culminating in my current Zarathustrian sense of self. Is that it? No. If that helps you, it's good, but... Uh, Gypsy, I don't know what... <laughs> Is it that I often panic while making sandwiches? Yeah, well, well, maybe it's that kind of thing. Is it that I smell conspiracy and everything and I don't know what I mean most of the time? Well, that... It's perhaps a small piece of the puzzle, but I... Gypsy, is it an odor? No. Well, no. Well, maybe it's Tom I don't get. Oh, brother, like a Zippo lighter without any flint. I can't believe it. Ugh. Tom? Yo. I don't get you. Nobody does. I'm the wind, baby. Yum. <laughs> Geez, aren't there any roads in this it's town? A Hover Bonneville. I think this is the movie version of Darkness Visible by William Styron. <laughs> Wayne, I want to come with you. No, Ruth, you stay here. Geez, you're high maintenance. Well, um, could I have the keys so I can listen to the radio? Gee. Yes. Oh, Kim Taylor, the helicopter pilot. How did it happen? We don't know, sir. We were having contact with him from the ground car. Suddenly, he let out a yell and then went blank. There was nothing we could do. You better take a look at the body, Carl. He said garp, then he said good, and then I've he I've never died. seen anything like it. He shoveled up like a drag queen. Like a drag queen? Looks like some kind of a burn. But it didn't touch his hair or his clothes. But he's horribly mutilated. <laughs> That's what's left of it. They shaved his mustache, those animals. There's something else I want to show you. Rick, could I get a ride home? What do you make of this, Carl? It looks like a meadow muffin. They look like severe burns. What could have caused such burns? Mexican food? Mm. I don't know. Probably some kid's prank. Mm. Yeah, That's kids right. are always They're mutilating people. Oh, good. Now, what about the capsule? The equipment's on the way now. All right. But I want you to stay here until it arrives. Mm. I don't want anything disturbed until Dr. Logan has had a chance to examine it carefully. All right, Dr. Trent. We'd better get back to the lab. There's nothing more we can do here. Robert Goulet and Martin Milner. Nora? They're cops. 
What are we going to tell Ruth? What do you mean, we? Truth. 